We are heading into Peru today. It should be another easy border crossing, but we never know. It could be a hit or miss. <laughs> we got all of our paperwork ready on a bag that Graham is of course chilling on. <laughs> We're crossing in Tumbes, which is back at sea level on the coast, so it's hot. It's very, very hot again. The heat for me does make it more stressful. We're just sweating all day and it's hard rummaging through the paperwork when you're so hot and yeah, it's just a little bit, un just another thing on top of also crossing a border that just isn't as fun. But it's just another thing we have to do to get where we're trying to go, so. I am so excited about Peru. I've always wanted to go for the biodiversity, the culture, the food. And also, my sister and niece are coming to visit us, so that's gonna make this trip even more special. Before they get here, we have a lot of van work to do so that everything with our road trip together runs smoothly. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that video. All right, let's head to the border. It's a scorcher, but we got the TIP canceled with Ecuador and we're looking for the place to check our vaccine cards and then we're gonna stamp out of Ecuador, stamp into Peru. Peru. Woohoo! It's so hot though. <laughs> wow, so now they're letting us advance over to the main migration building. It's Super just a, weird. really a regular border crossing how we walk. We leave the car on that side, walk all the way over here, and then we can walk back and get the car. Um, Everyone's different, I guess. So up here, we got to do all the health stuff, show the COVID, uh, get our temperature checked. Now we got our vaccine checked, and this border has had some lines. I wish we came first thing. And this will be our exit stamp for Ecuador. Entry stamp for Peru. So that migration line is one of the longest we've dealt with since Nicaragua. I figured out there's a couple things I can do while we're waiting. So that should cut down the overall time. I just got the insurance while Emily's waiting in that line. And they say I can bring the van in now. We walked like pretty far. So I'm just gonna go grab the van as well. You know, hopefully that speeds up this uh, bit of a nightmare. The only real problem is that we didn't put on bug spray. And uh, actually I put some like early this morning. I don't think Emily did. And she's been getting eaten alive. So bringing the van, at least we'll have the bug spray too. Hopefully they're chill about the animals. They just wanted to see this little health ticket here. Wow, it is hot, no lie. But back here, oh, it feels so good back here in the shade. We got this thing blasting. Okay, I can turn it up one more. Sombrita quieta. Make sure they got water. Yeah, I can fill that up a little more. Back to the borderline. We got the stamps. All right, we got the van paperwork. Oh, and the guy already checked it. So hopefully we can just go into the country now. No, it took forever. It's one o'clock now. Oh my gosh. Not the fastest, but it was mostly just waiting in that migration. I think we, because the border just opened, I think a lot of people are entering into Peru right now. Ten and a half, I mean, two and a half hours. Ooh. One hour of it was with double masks. Yeah, let's see if, we, if we're done. We're in Peru! Woo! We did it! <laughs> Yay, we made it! But honestly, that was kind of hard. <laughs> that was rough! Super weird. But anyways, 
We are in a new country. Completely new family. I've been here before. Yeah. My cousin married a Peruvian woman and took her back to the States, but before they got married, I, I met up with them here in Peru 10 or 12 years ago. Some of the amazing things about Peru I remember are there's like a thousand kinds of potatoes or avocados. Yeah. Um, the ceviche is like nice big sashimi pieces of fish marinated in some good sauce. And I heard you can get a really nice plate of ceviche for like three dollars. So nice. My mouth is already watering. Oh, and Danny was able to get out some soles, uh, which is the currency here, new currency. It's three seventy-five to one. We are so excited to be in Peru, and I'm gonna text my sister because she's probably like. I'm gonna come in 20 days and they're not there yet. We made it in! So excited. We didn't even know Peru would be open when it was time for us to come, so. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the thing. When we got into Ecuador, Peru wasn't open. So I'm really happy that we were able to get in here. Honestly, right now is kind of a tough era for overland travelers. A lot of the borders have been closed and different statuses. And we've been very lucky because when we were in Mexico, we had to wait for Guatemala to open, and then we had to wait for Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and they've all just been opening right on time for us. We came to Colombia, and Ecuador and Peru were closed. Ecuador opened, Peru opened, and we should be clear sailing from now on, unless if there's some crazy uh, Omega variant or something. But we did have to wear two masks inside of there, and I guess Peru is gonna be strict about two masks, at least within uh, public transit, which we want to deal with, and government buildings. So we'll see what happens. Wow, well I just got it to go because we want to cover some ground, but let's see this first ceviche in Peru. Ooh, that looks nice. It smells good. Comes with these extras. Looks like some, uh, almost like a potato and probably yucca. And in here, just tons of fish. That's going to be bomb. Mm. Damn, for just our first little stop in Peru, the ceviche is killing it. Look how much fish there is in there. So this was 25 soles, I guess. About 650 for this quite large portion of ceviche. I heard you could get it for like three bucks, but maybe this was a little bit of a fancier one. This spot had the highest reviews on Google Maps, so you know that doesn't mean much in an area where they don't use Google Maps. <laughs> but it had 4.4 star. And uh, it's pretty bomb. It was full of locals, you know, enjoying it. Not bad for the first stop in Peru. Oh, check out this view. What are you thinking, Emily? First impressions of Peru? Lots of tuk-tuks, moto taxis, and more, more motorcycles in general than Ecuador. There are literally no motorcycles in Ecuador, which was refreshing for a month. The motorcycles in other countries sometimes just makes it harder to drive when they're constantly just in a blind spot or they cut you off really fast or something like that. It's just, and it makes you more scared because it's not a car, you know, you can kill someone so much faster on a motorcycle. So it really scares me when there's a ton of motorcycles around. Definitely super dry. Like, it reminds me of Baja because that, that was basically desert to the beach. And for so long we've been jungle to the beach. So this is gonna be so different to be sitting next to a cactus instead of some crazy fruit tree. <laughs> Something else I've noticed about Peru is not only does it have ceviche like Mexico, but they're much different. But something else that came from Mexico was the tope. <laughs> and that means speed bump in Spanish. So not too excited to see that this country is gonna be leaning heavily on the usage of speed bumps on kind of big roads, you know? Like these aren't just in the US, like in a parking lot. <laughs> There's topes on the highway. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of rough on the van suspension and brakes. Uh, but as long as you see them coming, it's not too bad. But it really does slow you down going over all these topes. Could just be in this part of the country, we'll see. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this crazy road here, way up above. And this is the first spot we picked out here in Peru. Look at the homies here waiting. What a spot, heck yeah.
Yesterday we made it into Peru and we were able to celebrate by hanging out with some friends. And now today we're gonna head to our first beach spot over here. Our friends are gonna go ahead forward and hopefully we'll be able to see them down the road. But we're gonna take our time a little bit more and check out the Peruvian coast together. Thanks so much for coming along with us. This video was a little bit shorter than usual, but next time we have a big one coming out. So make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and check out our Patreon to become a part of the family. See you next time.